I had an idea to uh, create another piece. I know my brain's just massive. I have all these ideas in my head. This idea, I kind of wanted to have a person going into like a C position, dodging a rocket. I didn't know if I wanted the person dodging to be a guy or a girl. I wound up going with a girl. I kind of wanted to do a like a comic, comedy uh, type of uh, thing where like her boobs are moving along with her. But I decided to go against it later on. I uh, then started designing the uh, guy with the cannon. And with the cannon, I didn't have a cannon on hand. I didn't have a reference for it either. So I decided to take a picture of me with a portfolio, one of those rolling portfolios. I'll throw the picture up right now. Uh, and it turned out fairly well. I just got the positioning how I wanted it and just wanted to see like the angle of it like fading away from the back of the camera. Um, after I started working more and more on the camera, or after that I started working on the missile actually. The missile, again, no reference. I kind of, I kept on trying to look for a reference. Uh, I didn't find one that I liked so I just freehanded it to be completely honest. I needed the uh, missile to be one of the bigger pieces in this piece, like the bigger items in this piece because it's coming towards the camera uh and then after i got a roundabout way of how i actually wanted the missile to come towards the camera i started working on the uh, female character female protag or whatever uh subject of this the one that is dodging the actual missile at hand i uh, as you can see i scrapped the idea of like the comic of uh or comedic uh, value of like the the boobs moving in their own trying to dodge the uh the missile and just did a normal form factor type of deal. Uh, I had no goal or idea, premeditated idea or plan for drawing these two characters, like their designs. I just kind of went with it and I'm glad I did. I really like how uh, she turned out in particular. It's very military esque, I decided to go with. Um, you'll see when I start doing like messing with her clothes. I just pretty much give her uh, a tank top and then like some pants and then have uh, the chains and the dog tag. Uh, due to the nature of the scene that I'm trying to create, I decided to go with that just because it kind of fit, fit the vibe. Guns, missiles, and stuff like that. And then some dude in like a, a dark hoodie. I don't know. Stereotypical uh, villain. Always wearing a hoodie even though I'm wearing a hoodie right now. I guess I'm a villain in anime logic. Or edgy kid. I don't fucking know. Either or. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, after I, after that, I started working on the the guy with the cannon. I didn't really have an attire set out in mind, so I just put him in a hoodie, like I said earlier. I then actually will go back into the cannon later on when I start doing the inking and like revise certain things. But as of now, it's just it is what it is. I decided to add the strap that was from the uh, actual um, what is it called? the uh portfolio i said it earlier the portfolio that had a strap it said i had a strap to that just to give it a little bit more feel even though the rocket's gonna cover uh a lot of this uh drawing actually i don't know why i did so much work for it to be covered up but uh <laughs> it is what it is i'm uh weird like that but since i'm weird like that we start going into the line art the line art uh pretty much my default line art just going through doing everything i usually do and then i will go in and then start adding the uh thicker outline to make it pop after a bit the gun i kind of modeled it off of the gun that nakahiro uses in my comic book series which is over on my website and actually uh there's some other things on my website they should go check out one of them being the commission work yep i said it and yes this is a segue. Hey you, yeah you. Did you want a piece of art just like in this video that's created by me, Eldon L. Glover, AKA Eldon Draws? Then head over to eldendraws.com slash commission or just eldendraws.com and click the commissions tab and you can order, custom order a piece to your liking for me to draw for you. You just gotta commission me over at eldendraws.com slash commissions once again. Now back to the video. Yeah, overall, I really like how uh, this piece is really turning out and everything. The One of the main things uh, I really needed to create uh, when I was making this uh this piece of artwork is i really i really need to create a uh, brush for like chains like chain links like actual chain links not just the circles but the chain links you can see me actually creating right now i did uh what i currently do is i draw one piece of the chain then i move it to the next piece of the chain and uh i like i will draw the next like little link to it and just copy and paste i really need to make a uh 
a brush that will automatically do that on a, a different program because paint tool side doesn't enable you to do that because it is more of a lightweight program in the future hopefully they can add that addition to it and still try to keep it semi lightweight but as of right now i would have to use affinity designer i have a whole video on uh, how to create custom brushes if you want to check that out i'll leave a, a little tag i guess whatever the thing in the top right of the corner of the screen if you want to check out that previous video of how i made a, a custom brush i just have to sit down and take the time to actually make another custom brush in that kind of nature but a little bit more tight knit because i do want it to not have any like spaces and stuff like that so it's a little bit different but same same but different type of deal uh, <laughs> so for the canon i didn't really like how it was actually just pretty much blank inside so i did a bunch of tiny little circles inside of the cannon and i thought uh i well i like how it turns out and i thought it made it look a little bit more or have a little bit more depth to it like you're staring down the barrel of the canyon even though when i put in the toning you won't see it won't be as obvious but it's still there and i like it like just looking at it is kind of mesmerizing type of deal uh, <laughs> for the rocket after i finished inking the rocket i actually start working on uh the overall toning for this piece and for that it was kind of weird because i wanted to add uh some type of wisps or uh like smoke and i saw like uh, a short a while ago of like someone doing like a, a special stylized way of how they do their smokes and stuff like that so i kind of want to emulate it but not to the full extent uh so i was just messing around with it not really liking what i was receiving because i tried to like just make it pure white instead of um having it like kind of faded into so you could still see like have the opacity turned down and so you could still see the overall piece behind it uh so once after i did that mess up i just undid everything and then started to redo it in a way that i would actually like so i added a uh i added some wisps of like light wisps i use the the airbrush material the white airbrush to add some like wisps to give it like a smoky effect and then i went back in and added some more of those stylized like uh smoke so it has both of those uh to bounce off of from each other i don't know if i would do the stylized smoke in the future maybe i'm not sure i would have to like mess with it and make it my own uh to actually really appreciate it but it is what it is i i still think the piece turned out really well i really like it i i again i really like how uh, the female character turned out pro tag or whatever of the the scene the uh person in action uh just with all the movement the eye movement the hair movement and then after a while i added in the tones i wanted to do uh more of a darker like back and then the face is more of a uh like shown but i do go back in and start editing the face off camera uh in the final piece but yeah overall i use some new techniques not really not really sure if i'll use them in the future but it was a nice nice time to work at it so yeah and right about now you'll be seeing the final piece you can see where i edited a little bit of something something on the face with the shadows i really like how this piece turned out and hopefully you guys did too uh -huh. bye bye